Yeah. Even recorded, look, the porta potty, Mrs. B. Oh, nice one. Yeah, so it's real. We're real, aren't we? Now then, how are we doing? Yes, I am actually stood at the uh, sink washing dishes. <laughs> Why am I videoing this, you ask? Well, we do get asked quite a lot to show a little bit more footage of a typical day on a wide beam boat. And that's what we're going to do this week with the vlog. Um, time of filming this is the 8th of March. Um, Mrs Bonneville is currently out sorting out or helping with the uh, the bees. Um, she's part of the beekeeping team here on Mercia Marina. She absolutely loves it. Anyway, so look, what I thought we would do today, we've got a little bit of an issue going on with our bathroom tiles. They are, they're marble tiles and in places, they've gone a little bit dull. Um, and I've been trying to find a product to um, to uh, hopefully bring them back to uh, back to life. Let me show you. There's you. Kenneth. Fire is in. Really wasn't expecting that to be in mid well first week of March. But there's Kenneth. His usual <laughs> his usual place of residence is on the sofa. But uh, Mrs B's washing the covers today. And uh, he's just come in from a quite a long walk, so we don't want him mudging up the sofa. He's probably sulking at me. Anyway, look, let me come and show you what is what's going on with the bathroom. Right, I don't know if the uh, Donny, Donny, sorry for those that again that are new around here. We have a Osmo Pocket Three, which we refer to as the Donny Osmond, so we call it the Donny. So pointy finger. Let me come. In. So we're in the bathroom. And as I say, let me just kneel down. The marble tiles have just gone, just a little bit dull. Being to B&Q, spoke to a chap and he's recommended, let me show you, let me pop it down. So he's recommended this stuff here, power cream. I don't I'm not gonna film that, because that would be really boring. But I am gonna film Mrs B coming back. Um, Mrs B coming back in a beekeeping outfit, just so you can see. Um, attractive she looks. I'm only joking Mrs B. Uh, right. Before I go in there, uh, clean the bathroom tiles. We do get a lot of questions as well about how do we keep um, the condensation to a minimum. You're never ever going to get rid of condensation on a boat. Um, what we do is two things. We've got some little towels, uh, microfiber cloths that we've cut not, not very well. Um, let me just show you. Let me just flick the camera um, around. There you go. Ignore me cactus. Those little uh, yellow cloths, it just, they just protect um, the lovely woodwork. And then the other investment, which you have heard me talk about, this is our um, dehumidifier. Absolutely fantastic. It's automatically set to come on if the um, atmosphere reaches more than 40% um, humidity. Um, so we've also got, um, Again, same same unit in the bedroom. We plop that on the floor um, most mornings. As I say, three three months of the year, Mrs B will put it on timer for a couple of hours. And again, it will just keep the bedroom um, dry. Um, in the bathroom, because we get asked this question a lot, um, do we use our Cinderella toilet? No, we don't. It's fantastic, don't get me wrong. That is amazing. Um, and again, if you're not sure of the kind of how it works, basically you open up the lid, you put a kind of a, I suppose, a, a little bag in there. I'm not described that very well. And then go do what you need to do. And it literally incinerates it. Um, the reason we don't use it is we find it goes through quite a lot of gas, um, but it's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic toilet. Um, the actual toilet we use, it's got a little porta potty. And um, trust me, that's not always on the windowsill. Oh, look, everywhere I go, I've got a visitor. If you've got a golden retriever, you'll know. Everywhere you go, Kenneth follows. Here we are, folks. As promised, Mrs B. 
<laughs> now, Mrs. B's unaware, folks, that we're going to do a slightly different vlog this week. We're going to do a little inside life on a narrowboat. Oh, nice. So I've just told the viewers that I'm doing the floor in the bathroom, <laughs> and you've been out with the bees. Yes. So what have you been doing, Mrs. B? Um, we've been checking the bees because we haven't seen them since um, I think it was uh, the start of January. So we just wanted to make sure we've got some big lumps of fondant for them to eat because at the moment there's no flowers. All right. So just been to check to see if they're all right. And they went, yep, we're fine, thank you very much. And this is Mrs. B's beekeeping outfit. Very flattering, very oh. flattering. Let's wipe a little moss because he dribbles everywhere, bless him. Yeah, we got this, which is really good, isn't it, to stop it? Yeah. It stops it going on the wood. I think she's responded to that very well, viewers. Right, so I am going to go back into the bathroom and show you where we are. What's that, love? I'm going to take washing. Mrs. Bonner was going to take the washing. There you go. We told you. <laughs> you asked. What's it like? They were doing a wide beam boat. Well, we're going to show you. I've even recorded, look, the porta potty, Mrs. B. Oh, nice one. Yeah, we're real, aren't we? Okay, right. quick update on the products for hopefully reviving the dull marble tiled floor. Power cream. Other products are available. No. Now, the chap in b and I'll show you the floor in a minute. The chap in B&Q did actually say, look, it's worth a go. It was only a couple of pound. So, um, but no. But it is actually very good on other things. I've just cleaned our towel rail. Very nice. Um, Mrs. Bonneville um, is, uh, did so suggest, I don't know if your camera can pick that up, uh, some white wine vinegar. Um, no. So, I'm not sure. Bottom line, folks, is I'm not sure. So if you do know of any hints, tips, tricks on how to um, bring a marble tile floor back to life in terms of its shininess, drop them in the comments or send me an email. Um, just a mm -hmm. quick update on our boy. There you go. <laughs> For those that have never seen it, <laughs> there you go. We bought that all the way back on the back of a BMW GSA motorbike from Austria. Right, folks, there's the floor. As I say, if anyone knows of any hints or tricks, tips, drop us a little uh, comment. Someone actually commented oh, a couple of videos ago in terms of how on earth do you work on a boat? You've got no space. Well, let me just flip you around again. So if I wanted to, obviously um, the sofa, I could sit on the sofa. <laughs> you can get six people on there. I can sit on Mrs. B's Lazy Boy although she wouldn't like it, or I could quite comfortably work <laughs> at the dining room table. Um, but this is where I do work. This is my little kind of home office setup when I'm working from the boat. It's perfectly fine, acceptable. Or I can even go into the bedroom. If Underneath I... pointy finger, that's actually a chair. Let me pull it out, hold on a minute. There's the chair that I've just pulled out. And I can sit, some, sometimes pop the laptop up there. Oh, look, he's following me. <laughs> he's like a shadow. Right, next time you see me, I promise, I'll be clean shaven and a little bit fresher. Mrs yes. B is currently out washing. Um, washing, taking the washing. There's our washing machine. And in the next cupboard along, there's our tumble dryer. And here's our laundry chute. Um, let me just step back. There's the laundry chute. There we yeah. go, folks. Told you I'd be back clean shaven and bathed. Right, Mrs. Bonneville's just got back. We're going to take you, well, I'm going to take you around the marina now with our little boy. But well, Mrs. B's just got back from uh, taking the washing. I've showed our viewers our lovely washing facilities on the boat, but <laughs> um, it's just as easy to take it. Oh, it's easy and it's easy to um, right, so what we uh, what we're showing our viewers now? I made this this morning, and it's proofing. Uh, look, look at that sourdough. Yes, so I'm wow. going to I went to cook that in the morning, so we're going to have that for lunch tomorrow. Oh, yes, because I'm having a month now. No nasty comments. We're having a month of, well, almost no carbohydrates, so no chips, no bread. Oh, all that lovely yeah. stuff. Anything to do with potatoes. Anything to do with potatoes. The only concession is the sourdough, because I make it, and it's made with natural yeast. Absolutely, and that and there, what Mrs B's just shown, it is gorgeous. 
Right, we're going to take our little boy for a little wander around the marina. So we will see, oh, I'll just show you where the bees are. Yes. That's where Mrs. Bee's just been with the bees. You can wave to them. <laughs> okay, I'll wave to the bees. <laughs> right, see you in a minute, folks. Right then. Um, I'm cleaning the guys then. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost about a thousand subscribers now, but you did ask, folks. Yeah. Uh, I'll give the viewers an update, Mrs. B, on the uh, bathroom floor. No, it didn't work. Yours. So, yeah. give me the wife a kiss. <laughs> There's our coal, and we've got another bag ready to go outside. We use XL coal. That's 70 foot of wide beam, folks. Right, let me get Kenneth's little lead on. Right, so what I thought I'd show you is a little bit of the of the marina. As I say, it's a gated community so let's take you through the gates and uh, just show you around a little bit Hadn't right we? let's uh, let's get the key and let's go through I say it's a gated community and let me just show you our boat pointy finger right over there that's where Chow Bella's moored What's these that? are the uh, we've got three what we call blocks with uh, washing facilities uh, i.e. washing machines, tumble dryers, and uh, toilets and showers. All beautifully maintained by the, uh, the team at Mercia Marina. There's car parking all round the marina and it is very secure. As I say, it's gated. Um, so we don't worry about parking. We really, really don't worry about parking. But there's another little view of one of the pontoons. Have you finished that stick yet? Can we go? Let's let him finish his stick. Bless him. Right, I'm going to come show you some of the new lodges and also where Mrs B does her beekeeping. Let me just uh, flip the camera around and show you. As we are going, come on fella, we're going over the road. I say we'll have a little walk around the lodges. Update, folks the field <laughs> let me just uh, the field behind me is what we call well is the dog walking field it's a huge field was well, two fields that the marina have very kindly set to one side to allow your dog to run freely and they're huge fields and Kenneth God bless him thought he was going in there but uh, he's got a little bit of a sorely um, foot today so uh, I'm gonna keep him on the lead but That's he's safe. desperate to get into the dog walking field which is I say that field behind me, huge field. Uh, apologies, I don't know how many beehives we've got. And Mrs. Bonneville has been a, a beekeeper or part of the beekeeping team oh, for about 12 months now, maybe a little bit longer. And she absolutely loves it. She really does. And we've had honey. Um, beautiful, oh God, the honey was amazing. And Mrs. B's been using it to drizzle all over the vegetables. Lovely. Now then folks, this lagoon in front of you is where we first started our adventure. Just to the left, that's called Upland Goose. That's where we first moored our narrowboat, Love Life Triumph. And this, onto just in front that's where we finished our time on Love Life Triumph before moving on to Chow Bella. Golly it's hard to say that was nearly four years ago. Wow how time flies. This is quite a good feature of the marina folks. They've done uh, these storage sheds. Really really good idea. Uh, again I think they're around about £180 for six months. We used to, we used to have a shed we no longer need it, uh, need it because we've just got more room than <laughs> we, uh, we ever thought possible on the wide beam. But when we had a narrowboat, uh, we hired a shed. We're pretty much around the marina now. 
The next little place I'm going to show you is Street A. You've heard us talk about Street A. There are um, uh, boat engineers. That's where you bring your boat if you're going to get it blacked. You don't have to bring it here. We do, and we have. Let me also show you, again, for those that uh, have got boats and don't really know what's what, you can get three types of toilet on a boat. You can get a cassette, which is what we use. You can get a compost, um, or you can get a pump out. And here's where the pump out is at Mercy Marina. This is the pump out station. And over there is where you go if you want to get diesel for your boat. And this building behind these sheds, more of the sheds as I told you about, is Street A Engineering. Let's see if you can have a quick look in the dry dock. Um, let's have a quick look. There you go, folks. There's the dry dock. It's big enough for a couple of narrow boats or a wide beam. I say we've stayed in here a couple of nights when we had our wide beam or Chow Bella blacked. Let me just close this door up. But that's, uh, that's Street A Engineering. And that's their offices there. Street A. Highly recommend them. Now, in front is Boat Street Cafe. It's a narrow boat that's been converted to a cafe and they do the best bacon and mushroom subs. Oh, they are delicious. And just through the trees, that's what they call is that's what they call the boardwalk. All the shops and the the pub, the Indian restaurant. I hope you enjoy the footage and the picture quality, etc., and the audio. Because we are, say, we're now on the uh, Osmo Pocket 3. We love it, but we are uh, still getting used to it, just in terms of the gimbal. We had, we've had one before, but it was quite a while ago, and unfortunately we, uh, we dropped it um, and broke it. So it's been about a year, and uh, when the, uh, the new Osmo Pocket 3 came out with the one-inch sensor, which is what this is, I couldn't resist. So, this uh, building here is Midland Chandler's. Uh, if you can't find it in there for your boat, you're probably not going to. Um, they've helped us out with numerous things over the years. That's Midland Chandler's. Obviously, it's the, it's the rear of the actual building. This is the boardwalk, folks. A couple of places to get your nails and all that stuff done. Clothes shops, say the pub, cafe, lovely gallery, and an Indian restaurant. In front is New and Used Boat Sales, UK's largest boat broker. These boats here are all for sale. That is where the Boardwalk pub is. And that building that you're looking at right in front is uh, the Willow Tree Cafe. Fabulous breakfasts. Let's just do this up. It's getting a bit windy. But as I say, that was a little tour of where we live. Let's just take... You gonna go see Mum? There you go. Down you go, fella. There he goes, look. In to see his mum. So, Mrs B, we've showed... We've shown folk round. We haven't shown them everything. Mm -hmm. But we've shown them around. What have you been doing? Uh, I've been prepping tea and I'm now going to do some ironing. <sighs> there you go, folks. That is, well, that's just a typical day in our boat, isn't it? That's it. There you go, folks. <laughs> that's what we are, well, greeted with most days. Who says living on a marina is boring? not zoom either is it folks oh dear <sighs> there we are where mrs b goes to keep the bees or support with the b team the b team um, well this is where you bring your boat if you were uh, when it gets uh, when it 